All right, y'all, let's get started on Wednesday night dinner. We are going to start off with Blake's favorite side dish. It's called corn pudding, corn casserole. It's whatever you want to call it. We call it corn pudding in this house. And if you have my cookbook, my love letter to my babies through my aggressive fight with cancer, it's in this book on page 24. If you would like this book, it is on my link in my link tree in my bio. Hello, Amanda. Learn how to talk right. It's on Amazon. Sweet Lucille's Living to Cook. So let's make us some corn pudding. This is delicious. This is easy. And this is the perfect side dish for any holiday, birthday party, or just because like we're doing tonight. So first off, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Spray you a pan, which I did not. I'm using an eight by eight pan. You can double it and use a nine by 13. So let me spray my pan. Let me show you how easy this is. Get you a mixing bowl. Get you a can of cream style corn, okay? Dump that whole can in there. And I think this is 14.75 ounces. Make sure you get all the last of that. Then get you a can of whole kernel corn and drain it. And it's 15.25 ounces. Drop it in there just like that. Get you one box of Jiffy cornbread mix, okay? This you have to have. Drop it in there. One stick of melted butter that I put in the microwave. Pour it in there. Then one cup of sour cream. I think I've got about a cup left in this container. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna stir it up really good. And then we're gonna mix in a cup of, uh, I think I'm using mild cheddar cheese. So let's get a mixing. This is what your uh, mixture should look like. So we've got it all combined. I'm gonna go in here and measure with my heart. Uh, you know, I, I got hearts pretty big. About a cup or as much as you want, it don't matter. Use whatever cheese you want. You can add whatever to this you want to. If you wanna add you some jalapenos, add you some jalapenos, baby. Add you some green chilies. Make it your own. You know my saying, your kitchen, your recipe, do what you want. But I'm making it just like this because this is the way my babies like it. And you know I love my babies. So, let's mix it up really well. Pour it in a greased eight by eight pan. And again, I'm making a small one. You're more than welcome to double it. We're gonna bake it on a 400 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. And this, y'all, is delicious and oh so easy. Look at that. Perfect. That didn't even take me two minutes to whip up. So here we go. It's flyer in the oven. It's been 45 minutes to corn casserole out of the oven and she's a hot one. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Do you want to see what the inside looks like? You know we're gonna cut it. It's just what we do. Let's dip some out on some fine china. Funny story, Blake got off the bus and come in and he immediately says, is that corn pudding in the casserole? Or in the, ca is that corn pudding in the oven? That's like, maybe. He said, mom, is it? Or is it tater tot casserole? I said, it's corn pudding. He goes, yes, let's eat. The boy's nose knows. He's like his mama, the nose knows. All right, let's take a little corner piece out and I'm gonna show you how good this is. Look at that. When you know, you know. Let's blow that bite and let's burn our tongue because if we don't burn our tongue, I'm sick. Cheers. It's gonna be ooey gooey, but it's gonna be done. I promise. Mm-hmm. I'm normally, normally, Mm. Let it cool for 30 minutes before we cut it. But I have to show my friends. Mm. I'm literally watering at the mouth. It's so good. And I'm going to go take this to my son for a little after school snack while I get started on some grilled pork chops and some lemon crinkles. So go make you and your family some delicious and easy corn pudding. Again, it's in my cookbook, page 24. If you want that said cookbook, it's on my link tree in my bio. Sweet Lucille's Living to Cook. Love letter to my kids. Have a wonderful day and remember, I love you and always measure with your heart.